Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India this lecture we will discuss 2 to the power k factorial design 2 to the power k factorial design actually we are saying that factorial design with two labels or two label factorial design also sometimes we say like this okay what does it mean? Suppose, suppose there are let there are k number of factors each with two labels. Suppose if I consider the k equal to 2, then our number of factor is 2 and a and b, and now instead of a having a labels b having b labels we are saying the small a equal to 2 and small b equal to 2. So, as a result a having one two labels as well as b also having two labels then the design will be 2 to the power k equal to 2 to the power 2 design. So, as such there are if there are k labels kth factor then the design will be 2 to the power k this is what we will be introducing in this lecture and later we will continue few lectures on 2 to the power k design. So, in uh, today we will we will discuss that why this kind of design is needed and then what could be the statistical analysis and how the parameters will be estimated. So, you just consider a case with full factorial design. Suppose, I have k number of factors and each having different levels a having a number of labels, b having b number of labels, c having c number of labels like this. If I my number of factors is 10 or let us number of factors number of factors is 3 only and then the number of independent runs will be a b c and if I have any replication this is what is the total number of experiments to be conducted. Suppose, if I say a equal to 5, b equal to 5, c equal to 5 and n equal to 5. So, that means, my a, b, c, a n this will be 25 into 25. So, this will be 625 I think. So, that number of experimental run will be very large. Okay. So, number of experimental uh, the, uh, runs will be very large and every run every experimental run run cost. For example, it requires raw material, it requires operator, it requires time, if it requires process to be used. So, it may be infeasible if we require this much of experiments to be conducted, may be the process owner will not allow us to do this. Under such situation can we can we do some kind of adjustment where that instead of going for a label for factor a with a different levels rather make it two labels. So, in that case what will happen? a b c n when each of the factor at two level that means 2 to the power 3 into n. 
so you require 8 n total number of runs for 3 factors. Now, if I consider n equal to 5, then you require 40 experimental runs to be completed. So, so possible it is easy, it will be it will be less costly, but if you want to use this kind of things you have certain assumptions that is to be satisfied and definitely the purpose that will be served by analyzing this experimental data will not be the exhaustive one because it has reduced levels. So, it will be used for specific purposes. So, what are the assumptions the factors are fixed the designs are completely randomized the usual normality assumptions are satisfied as each factor has two labels response surface can be approximately linear. If it is not then what will happen in between the nonlinearity will not be able to estimate. For example, you think of um, think of a design where two labels so low and high. So, this is low and this is high this may be low and high then this is A and B. Now, what will happen suppose this A and B if I want to go for the response surface. So, you may be getting a surface something like this or approximately linear, but if the surface having some kind of suppose nonlinearity at this point some kind of quadratic part. So, you cannot capture this because your experimental data are coming from this 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 four factorial points. So, if it is assume it is assume that or it is quite practical that ok this surface is linear a parallel or um, approximately parallel then this kind of uh, to the power k design will help you. So, as a result also the purpose is limited I told you these designs are widely used in factor screening experiments. Factor screening experiment mean suppose if there are k number of factors how many factors are significantly contributing on the response and how many are not. So, your purpose sole purpose is to eliminate those insignificant factors and to reduce the number of factors from higher level from a high level to a lower level and you can do further experimental run with small factors may be completely full factorial design you will employ there. So, let us now understand uh, that the effect parameters calculations with reference to a 2 to the power 2 factorial design which is the most simple case of 2 to the power k factorial design. Okay. So, we will we will do this kind of tabulation there are two factors a and b now each has two labels minus and plus. So, we are denoting like this a minus plus minus plus low high low high b when a low b low a high b low. So, that means low low high high and the combination is a low b low a high b high a low b high b high a high b high. So, these are the points low low high low low high 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 and suppose in each these experimental settings you have you have done 3 experimental 3 uh, replication is 3 minutes 3 experimental runs conducted obviously, these are random experiment randomized one. So, then suppose the response values is 4 here, 7 here, 3 here and here 12, 9, 7 like this the data you got. Okay. So, what happened here then? Then you have 3 runs in each treatment settings. So, we want to first know the what is the total here. This total will be 4 plus 7 plus 3 14 here when low low 
similarly at this point is 28 similarly at this setting is 38 similarly at this setting is 36 these are known as totals these totals are given a special notation in 2 to the power k factorial design the reason is it helps us um, it helps us defining many things also in computing the effect as well as the uh, some squares what is the notation the notation will be one when both are at low level that is minus minus then we are saying a if a changes to plus mean a goes to high factor a goes to high factor a at low level we are denoting b the situation when a at low b at high and we are denoting by a b when both at are high but this is the notation from that mean this is my one this is a this is a this is b and this is a b so i can say these are the experimental combinations but in addition from total point of view we give some numa number to all those things these are nothing but the total num values of y response at one at this point at this point at this point at this point also so this is the situation but we also give that what is the total here so what is the total here what is the total here and here so with reference to this example then this will be 14 and a will be 28 b will be 38 and a b will be 36 so what i mean to say here that you have seen the situation like this situation is that when a low b low a b and suppose experimental runs low low this setting is denoted by 1 then high low a that mean low high b and high high a b and we have calculated total here with reference of this 1 will is representing 14 2 is representing total value that is a is 28 b total value is 38 a b total value is 36 so this will be the experimental setting one hand another hand the numa number means suppose if there is one replication only then this value is the one y value so sum of y values sum of y values okay so then we want to estimate the effects what are those effects what is the a effect suppose what is the b effect and what is the interaction effect a b interaction effect so <coughs> a is changing from minus to plus or minus 1 to plus 1 you can write minus to plus or minus 1 to plus 1 b from minus 1 to plus 1 so that mean now for a effect will be the mean values the mean values here total you get here the mean values of y when a it has high level minus mean values of y when a it has low level irrespective of level of b so that is the main effect of a equal to y a at positive that is y bar a at positive minus a at negative that means when a at high value high what is the average of y when a b a at low what is the average of this similarly main effect of b will be same thing y bar b high minus y bar b low 
this plus minus for high and low. Here irrespective of irrespective of B and here irrespective of A. Then and what will be the interaction effect A B? That will be when that mean the y bar a b same level minus y bar a b different level. What does it mean? That mean either the same level means a at positive positive or negative negative. Here either positive negative or negative or negative positive means a at high high or low low that is the same level. And a, a, a at high, b, b at high, a at low, b at low that is same level. Here what is happening? a high, b low or b uh, a low, b high that is the different level. So, what is the average of this and then minus the average of this. So, now, now what will be the average of this the y total at these two points. So, this if there are n replicates here also n replicates then 2 here n plus n 2 n will be the observations. So, 1 by 2 n and the total. So, that mean where 2 n will come out what you will get you will get a equation like this why the equation will be something like this suppose I want I want to know what is y a positive bar. So, we know the total here is 1 within bracket here is a here is b and here is a b. So, y a bar is when a at high what is the total then a b plus a what is the number of observation here n here in 2 n then minus this is similarly y y a minus bar this will be this and this average b plus 1 by 2 n. Then m e that effect a will be the difference between these two y a plus bar minus y a minus bar then this will be a b plus a by 2 n minus b plus 1 by 2 n then the resultant is 1 by 2 n a b plus a minus b minus 1. So, see the this situation this interesting one when we are talking about a effect you see that the small a is coming wherever small a is is there that though the those are basically summed up and wherever there is no a related terms are there they are subtracted. So, using this if I want to tell you what is the effect of b. So, b effect is y b plus bar minus y b minus bar. So, this will be basically when when b plus a b plus b divided by 2 n when b minus a plus 1 divided by 2 n. So, that means a b plus b by 2 n minus b plus 1 by 2 n then this will be 1 by 2 n into a b plus b minus a minus 1. Interestingly, you are getting the same one that we are interested in b, the small b is related to b. So, here is b, b term is there, b term is there, this is plus, wherever there is no b term, this is minus. Okay. Now, what will be the a b effect? a b effect is when both are at same level. So, that mean either high high or low low and both are at different level. So, y bar a b same minus y bar a b different that is what I said. So, same means 
a b plus 1 divided by 2 n minus a plus b by 2 n. So, this will be 1 by 2 n a b plus 1 minus a minus b. Okay. So, here <laughs> when if we see that a is 1 by 2 n a b plus a minus b minus 1 b if you see that is 1 by 2 n a b plus b minus a minus 1 a b if you see this is 1 by 2 n a b plus 1 minus a minus b. Okay. So, you have interestingly within third bracket a quantity third bracket everywhere a quantity you have this is known as contrast. Suppose we say this contrast C. What is saying here? That means when I keep in A effect, contrast is if I keep if I change from low to high, what is the change? So that means with reference to low, what is the ith position? Similarly for B and for A B, that means same level to different level. So contrast this value is giving us contrast value. Now we have two part. One part is the what will be the uh, division factor 2 n 4 n whatever may be that you have to identify and you have to know contrast. If you know contrast you are in a position contrast for A, contrast for B, contrast for A B as such if you have many more um, factors and their interaction you have to know the contrast then you will be able to find out their effects. Okay. So, with this description and given this data we found out that a equal to 2. What does it mean? If you change a from low to high or minus to plus, then the y change will be 2 units. Then the main effect of b is 5.34. If you change b unit from minus 1 to plus 1, that means 2 unit change in b in this coded scheme minus 1 to plus 1 will change y by 5.34 units and the interaction effect is minus 2.64. So, that mean if you change from the same level to the different levels. So, there will be y change will be in, will be in the will y will be decreasing by minus 2.67 units. So, this is from average point of view now as I told you the contrast point of view if you see use the contrast the same equation you will come and same formulation you will see. So, <coughs> what we have discussed so far then we have discussed that 2 to the power 2 design or 2 to the power 2 design is the special case of 2 to the power k design and 2 to the power k design is the special case of full factorial design that we have discussed. Then we have showed uh, with two to reference to, to the power 2, I have told you that how to compute the effect parameters A, B and A, B. We have seen another important thing called contrast. So, which will be denoting by C. Okay. So, <coughs> now uh, you know how to compute this A, B and A, B. Also, you will be I will tell you how to compute mu later on that grand mean and now you will see that with reference to 2 to the power 2 design how to compute the sum squares, how to compute the sum squares. Okay. So, if I if I go back to if I go back to estimate of effect of A and if I say this is the this is the contrast and then how this contrast is coming from the data suppose I say that we are denoting this A, B and A, B. What we have seen that A at low, B at low. So, minus 1, minus 1 this we have denoted by 1 then then when it is plus 1 this is minus 1 we denoted it by a 
when this is minus 1, this is plus 1 denoted by b, when this is plus 1, this also plus 1 denoted by a b. Okay. So, these are basically effects, effects of on y, the values. Now, then if I want a b, you multiplied this row with this row. If you multiplied the 2 minus into minus, this will be plus 1, this will be minus 1 and this will be your minus 1 and this will be your plus 1. So, you are right here 1, here 1, here 1, 1, 1. So, this is this row, this row represent contrast for A, this row represent contrast for B, this row represent contrast for C B, A B. This is what is contrast. Now, when we say this basically gives uh, gives you this basically gives you uh, this fine basically that effect is there so if i if i go back again let it be like this so i am saying this portion is the contrast when multiplied by this so by this is the basically the constant constant basically constant constant for a for b and for ab now if when you multiply this with this you will get this contrast. When you multiply this with the effect, you will get this contrast and when you multiply this with this, you will be getting a b contrast. Okay. So, essentially, essentially what happened that if I say this into this, then it is nothing but minus 1 plus a minus b plus a b first one and then if I see that what is the a effect 1 by 2 n sum of um, a b plus a minus b minus 1 this is 1 is there. Okay. So, this way this is basically this is coming. So, this is the contrast. So, we can say that this this that the C's so general when C for small C for A is like this in this case minus one plus one minus one plus one. This is for A. For B something like this. Now this is what is represented here. Now <coughs> how do you that means then the, then the contrast of A is as I told you this row multiplied by the effect row. A is row multiplied by the mean contrast constant for A and effect values. This two multiply, you will get contrast A. If this and this multiplied, you will get contrast B. If this and this multiplied, you will get contrast contrast C. Now how to compute the sum square contrast? So the sum square contrast if I say what is the sum, SSC means sum square contrast, sum of squares contrast, sum of square contrast. So, this will be sum of i equal to 1, 2. Now, you have to you have to see that if it is a you have to know where from changing this one. Suppose I am writing 1 to a, then this is c i uh, and y i dot bar the total square divided by 1 by n sum of c i square i equal to 1 to a and ultimately this will give you this quantity this will give you if I change it to i equal to 1 to a and c i then y bar to y i dot because this is the total and if I make this square 
then the n square will come out then n sum total of c i square i equal to 1 to a. So, <coughs> so here again I have used the word a i equal to 1 to a rather let me tell you basically we are saying that that this these are the effects against each treatment combination. So, let me write out not write out a maybe I can write out the treatment combination. So, let this 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 is my this is a this is p if there are uh, such treatment combinations are there no problem whatever may be you understand that how many treatment combinations are there the minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 for each level you will be able to do it this is p this is p. So, now if I want to know the contrast for uh, S S A suppose I want to do this S S A then what I will write down what is C C A for me the C I values are minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So, I have to multiply this by the total total is here when it is minus 1 it is 1 this is a this is b this is a b. So, that means if I multiply by c i and y i total. So, if I multiply these two columns. So, these two columns what it is giving me it is giving me minus 1 plus or I write like this plus a minus b plus a b which is nothing but a b plus a minus b minus 1. So, that means this is my contrast contrast square. So, I can say this is contrast if contrast is c then c square or other way I can write contrast square. What is the lower value then? Lower value is basically you are multiply squaring c i square. So, c i means this multiplied by this this will give you only all 1 minus 1 square root this all 1. So, sum of this will be give you i equal to 1 to a c i square will be ultimately what? This will be this many suppose if I say p here. So, it will be p. So, now in this case what is the settings 4 settings. So, sum of 4. So, this will be 4. So, then this quantity is 4 into n. So, please remember this one interesting one. So, when you are you want to compute any effect you first know what is the effect either a b or a b as such for others later on we will discuss find out the contrast. So, contrast is c a c b c a b. If you want effect, so effect of A then it is contrast divided by 2 n divided by 2 n divided by 2 n these are the effect equal to this equal to this equal to this. If you want S s then what will happen for A the S s will be contrast square by 4 n means I can write contrast square by 2 to the power 2 n here 2 n 2 to the power 2 n. This is C b square by 2 to the power 2 into n and this will be C c a b square by 2 to the power 2 n. So, your things become very simple because this contrast is known for each of the effects. When you, then the resultant quantity here what is happening S S A is this S S B this and you just you know the S S A will be this, this quantity is 12 12 square by 4 4 3 12 it is 12 only S S B is this S S C is this A B is this then S S T will be the square of all the observation then sum minus the correction factor and like this. 
Okay. So, how do you compute the, the mean value then? In case of mean value, ultimately what is mean value? For all settings, whatever values are there, all total divided by number of observations. So, all total will be possible if it is 1, this is A, this is B, this is AB. That means, you, require, you create a contrast kind of thing for all 1 only and then multiplied by the effect, multiplied by the effect that is 1 A, B and A, B, then you will be getting 1 plus A plus B plus A, B. Obviously, there will be how many observations are there, here in, here in, here in, here in, then 4 in observations will be there, total observations. So, this will give you the estimate of y bar, y if it is double dot, I think i j k, k is there, this which is basically estimate of mean. Okay. So, now once you know a, b all those things squares are known and you will know that whether that is significant or not and accordingly you decide. Interestingly here what will happen whether a, b, a, b all effect they, this will be only 1 degrees of freedom. So, as a result you require to see the error degrees of freedom and uh, as all the effect will be 1 degrees of freedom. So, f 1 and error degrees of freedom point g by this value once you require to take for this any value f value more than this value for this example will be significant. Okay. Now, I will show you very quickly that how regression approach uh, mm, that means, what we have seen, we have seen earlier that the we, we in regression A we denoted by x 1, B we denoted by x 2 and then A B basically it will be x 1 times x 2. Okay, so, then our your fixed effect model a model is y i j k equal to mu plus tau i plus beta j plus tau beta i j plus epsilon i j k. Our regression will be we will write like this y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 plus beta 1 2 x 1 x 2 plus epsilon. Okay. So, now what happen we know the different settings those different settings we will denoted by observations. So, ob settings are with reference to A means x 1, B means x 2 and A B means x 1, x 2 that setting. What will happen? First setting is A minus 1, this is plus 1, then this one is plus 1, this one is plus 1, this is again minus 1, this is minus 1 then this is plus 1, this is minus 1. So, then mean independent run 1, 2, 3, 4. Then what will be x 1, x 2? This will be minus 1, plus 1, plus 1, minus 1. Okay. So, so this is our and then what happen? You will get y total somewhere y total, you will get y total for this it is 1, this is A, this is B, this is A B. As if this is what is our data for regression. So, we have 4 independent settings, there are x values, there are, there are y values also. In addition what we require here, we require a const called x 0 which will take always 1 for beta 0 this will be writing, we will be writing like this 1 1 1 1, this manner we will write. Okay. So, then your, your, your what you do, you find out S S E, S S E will be epsilon square, if I write this i, then this is i 1, this will be i, i 2, this will be i 1 and this will be i 2 and this is epsilon i. So, I mean if S S E will be i equal to 1 to n, here it is 4 fine epsilon i square, this will be 
be sum of i equal to 1 to n beta 0 plus beta 1 x i 1 plus beta 2 x i 2 plus beta 1 to x i 1 x i 2 this y 0 this one y i minus this y i minus this minus this minus this minus this this square. So, what you do now then del s s e by del beta 0 put to 0 del s s e by del beta 1 put to 0 and this manner you put and you solve all those things. The resultant equations is a simple one in like this. So, this is my function that is to be minimized this is basically the s s e. If you make del l by del beta 0 is 0 and then put to 0 equal to 0 you will get this equation. If you do with beta 1 you will get second equation, beta 2 third equation, beta 1 to fourth equation you will be getting. And here you see the sum of x i 1 will be 0 because x i 1 means sum of this column minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 this will be 0, this column will be 0, this column sum all sum column will be 0. And if you just take the square then it will be here at a 4 independence end it will be 4, square and sum that will be 4. So, that is why what happened you are getting this equal to i equal to 1 to this y i this total will come here this is the all sum and here with reference to this as x i 1 will be multiplied. So, that the minus 1 plus minus plus is coming here here the x 2 will be multiplied. So, that is why what happened minus minus plus plus will be multiplied with this and here what happened that same and different level. So, same level plus plus minus minus. So, this total is coming. Now, putting the, the other constant this equal to 0 this equal to 0 sum of this what you will get if you put these values are 0 then from this equation 4 beta 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus this also will become 0. So, that means 4 beta 0 is equal to this then beta 0 equal to 1 plus a plus a b by 4. Similarly, beta 1 4 beta 1 will be this 4 beta 2 will be this 4 beta 1 2 will be this you will be getting this uh, beta 1 beta 2 beta like this these are the estimates. Okay. So, once you get this beta values, so you will see that the beta values are nothing but a by 2, beta 1 is a by 2, beta 2 is b by 2, beta 1 2 will be a b by 2 the effect parameters what you have estimated in fixed effect model. Now, the advantage of having this model is that we can go for response surface. So, this is our the run, these are the data and this is the response surface plot for this particular equation here x 1 x 2 and how y is changing you see that it is almost a plane perhaps because of this uh, what is the beta 1 2 value is uh, you have seen that beta 2 effect is significant earlier, but beta 1 and uh, beta where is your beta 1 beta 1 as well as this beta 1 2 is not probably not significant will be there anyhow those things you will be tested through that regression model the way we have done that can be same way it will be tested. Now, from here we are here we are giving a contour plot like for a different settings of x and x 1 and x 2 what will be the range of y values here. So, there a color combination suppose if it is a maximization problem what you want y value should be maximum that is greater than 13 year when that is the zone this is the zone of interest where you can set your process. Suppose, if it is a minimization case then with reference to this this is the zone where y values are you will be getting minimum y values. Okay, but if it is some target value is there suppose 10 to 11 then this is the zone which gives you uh, the y value 10 to within 10 to 11 and accordingly you choose what will be your x 1 and x 2 values. Okay. So, uh, I hope that you understood and you please remember that there will be 
test of assumptions like normality, homoscedasticity every time. So, you have to do all those things. It is simple you once you have the residual you do residual analysis and get it done. Thank you very much. See you again.